Call that man feminine and see what happens. If he gets offended, it shows you how he views women. He views women as less than him. Because there's no other reason that he would be insulted by being called feminine if he already thinks women are feminine. If you think women are feminine and you're insulted by being called feminine, then you think that that insult is less than you and taking you down from where you currently are. He thinks women are less than him. That's why he's hurt. Call that man. Okay. So this is a man that likes other men. So I don't want to say anything negative about any community. But, sir, you're just causing trouble for no reason. Because at the end of the day, if you call a woman masculine, she she may get upset. The thing is, I think you would give a woman a pass for being upset because someone called her masculine. So that wouldn't be a red flag, right? So if I say to a woman, hey, you're masculine, and she gets upset because she knows that she's feminine, and she looks at it like, hey, you know, men should be masculine, women should be feminine. That's really what it is when it comes to men. So some men may get upset. It wouldn't bother me. I would laugh. But if a guy got upset, it shouldn't really be a red flag. I mean, it's okay to be insulted. Now, now being insulted is a red flag, but only for men. Because we know that you would give women a pass if I called a woman masculine and she got upset. And y'all are so messy. Two plus two equals four. Agree or disagree? I mean, it depends on what the two is. Is it a pregnant mom? Is it two pregnant moms? Because oh that's more. I mean, like math. The, the number, number two. two plus the number two. I would say for the most part, yes. What do you mean for the most part? The thing is, even that is a flawed concept because it's act that pencil is billions of atoms that are vibrating. Oh. So we've learned, we've come to call it what? one pencil, but it's actually however many atoms vibrating on the same frequency to make this appearance, this optical illusion that this is a pencil. Two plus two equals four, agree or disagree? This is just basic math. I don't know why she felt the need to say it depends on if it's a mom that's pregnant. Like why, why would you, it's just math. Like, well, like, why? <laughs> oh, man. I don't know, ladies. Uh, do y'all, do women claim this woman? Because this is crazy. Why are we, like, doing conditional math? It's simple math. Some Korean men are refusing to help women. A few days ago, a woman in her 20s lost consciousness and fainted when she was on the subway. Apparently, there were a bunch of men in their 20s and 30s who refused to help. And saying something to the extent of, it has nothing to do with me. Which got the woman on the internet pissed. According to the Korean woman, the reason being, all able-bodied Korean men have to serve military service. They do learn CPR in the military. So it was expected for men in their 20s and 30s who likely just got out of the military to jump in and help because they know how to do CPR. But a lot of the men on the train didn't. And their reason being, they did not want to be accused of sexual harassment. There were a few incidents where men were actually accused for sexual harassment for trying to help the women. Back in 2014, a South Korean woman had actually tried to sue a male EMT paramedic for doing CPR and doing chest compressions on her. Although the paramedic wasn't charged or convicted with anything, since he was reported, he still had to go through an investigation. There was also another story shared of a Korean guy going up the steps in the subway station, and there was a woman in front of him seemingly about to fall. He put out his hands and tried to grab her from the back to prevent her from falling. The girl freaked out and called the police on him, and he ended up in the police station. That being said, these are all the men's side of the story. They'd rather be a bystander than getting their names tainted with SA. This all seems a little crazy to me. I mean, I get it if you don't want to touch the person because you don't know what's going on. At least call for help. What do you think? Oh, yeah. The situation in South Korea with the men and the women is there is a gender war there. But, you know, this just reminds me of the whole 4B thing where a lot of the American and I guess Western women, they picked up this 4B thing where the men and the women... They, you know, they're saying that it's the men's fault why they're doing 4B and so they don't like men. But then they're like, at the same time, making the relationship worse because I get it. Decenter men. But when you're decentering men, but you're still talking about men, still interacting with men, are you really decentering men? Or are you just creating a situation like this where men and women can't help each other because they're afraid that the woman, because they don't like them because of feminism or whatever it is, whatever's going on in South Korea, they, they're not going to help. I mean, is this is this the, the Western world that you women who are practicing 4B, is that what you guys want? I mean, imagine a situation where because you hate men and, you know, we promote an agenda wars, 
something happens to you, a man is scared to help you. Like, this is crazy. Uh, but hey, that's South Korea. I hope America never gets like that. But I, I know there's some radical feminists that they're going to push. They, they're pushing for, for stuff like this. They don't want anything to do with men. So crazy, but not impossible to happen over here in the West. I decided to block this chick. I can see why this guy decided to block this chick and not go on any other future dates with her. And it's funny because in the comments of this video I'm about to show you, the women were all saying, oh, men never get the joke. It's a joke. This is some bad joke if this is really a joke. This is just cringy as all. Watch this. Would you rather go buy me an engagement ring right now or decimate everyone in that restaurant? By the way, that's just sadistic as hell. I'm assuming she practices spirituality. I could just go down to a pawn shop and buy a fake ring so yeah that works for me so you want to give me a fake ring if it involves getting out of killing people yes so is there a reason that you don't want to propose to me because we've just gone on our first date oh and what's the what's the problem any of you watching this if you don't see the problem either i'm very concerned about you Oh, oh, so now you're going to turn my audience against me? You know what, never mind. Hi, everybody. I'm the guy in the video. We want to clear a few things up. No, this was not scripted. It wasn't a sketch. All of it was real. The questions were asked without me knowing beforehand, and all my responses were as they were. She also never asked for my permission to upload any of the videos to TikTok. Many of those clips were taken without me even knowing. No, there was not a second date. Thank God I left alive. I guess. Yeah, that, that lady is crazy. Imagine you go on a first date with somebody and they're on TikTok live. I don't know, man. Some of you weirdos on TikTok and some of these online platforms, you're, you're becoming weird offline too. It's one thing to have your online persona, but now you guys are doing weird shit in the real world. And I, I don't know, man, y'all need to get off of these platforms. When you start acting crazy like this, asking people to take people out or get married to you. Yeah, don't leave. Don't just start dating women. Le leave us leave men alone. It's crazy.